Hi, I'm Timothy, and my regular job is building a sandcastle on Venice Beach. You can find it at the end of Venice Boulevard, but I also like to pull rickshaws around, and it would be great to get some financial support for my various projects. So please visit me at Journal of Anthro Engineering, and um, I don't know, $5 an hour best offer? We'll see. We'll see where the bidding takes us, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen this before. <laughs> Can you tell us about this rickshaw? It looks authentic. Yeah, so this is a 1960s Hong Kong rickshaw. You can see it's got the original tires, uh, lightly reinforced with duct tape. Um, original design, it's been repainted a few times, but um, man, it just glides like, I would liken it to like an antique biplane. It's just very delicate, but you know, responds to a gentle touch. And that's what I like, you know, pulling it. It's like dancing down the street, right? It's like I've got a dance partner and um, it's a wonderful thing to ride in. I mean, there's nothing like riding in a rickshaw. My six-year-old daughter knows that. And, you know, she'll let me know if I go over the slightest bump. So I've learned to be really careful. Um, it's just a really nice ride. Yeah, but my job not to ride in it, but to pull it around. Okay. Pick up some speed. Could I race one of these pedicab drivers? We'll see man versus machine. Hmm? <laughs> Hello. Happy New Year. I thought Thank Venice you. joined onto Santa Monica. I told you. Yeah, Hong Kong. Thank you. Yeah, it still go moves nicely. Let's see how it balanced. Yeah, try. Light, yeah? Fun to move. Oh, there you go. Yeah! Wonderful design, right? Those handles, man, I tell you, there's a thousand ways to move this thing. like Boris Karloff. Ah.
I was just thinking, you know the general, Marcus Fabianus? I don't. After whom, you know, your name is from. Yeah, he was a Roman consul um, in the time when Carthage invaded Italy, right? And so um, he coined the phrase, or because of him, they named the phrase Fabian Tactics because he took his legions into the field and he refused combat with Hannibal um, and just led him all around Italy like st strategy of attrition, right? Like a modern sort of a guerrilla warfare. But that was very politically unpopular and he was overruled and replaced with a more uh, aggressive commander who did attack Hannibal and that led to Rome's greatest defeat ever at the Battle of Cannae, um, the world's first pincer envelopment where Hannibal just destroyed like multiple legions of Roman troops. It was an absolute disaster. All because they uh, dispensed with Marcus Fabianus. Yeah. Interesting. So, that's a nice legacy to have for a name. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to look that up. Yeah.